Trading the S&P E-mini market can be so profitable, but for people who don't know what they're doing or think it's easy, it can also be extremely dangerous. I'm going to compare two days, two back-to-back -back days in the E-mini market, March 10th and March 11th, and show you what I mean. On March 11th, the market started out at 9.30 with a bit of chop for the first half hour of trading. The market tended up, and by the way, this is a three minute chart, three minute candles, two and a half points in between each horizontal line. At 10 o'clock, the market topped out at about 39.35. Market topped out, and at, the, at that particular time, with an overbought stochastic, we can see that prices started to decline with lower lows and, and lower highs. And we could ride that down to make, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, about 10 points from 10 to about 10.15. Look what happens at 10.15. At 10.15, we have a strong push to the upside after the bears took it down to 32.25. But corresponding with the not quite but oversold stochastic, prices started to rise and this would have been a fairly safe, or not safe, but a fairly strong indication that prices were reversing and, will, and prices would move to the upside. Waiting until this clear signal, we could have gotten on at around 32.30 and ridden prices up for about 25, for a 25 point gain. And notice the trend from about 10.15 to 11.30. Nice, strong trend, and we don't see that every day. This particular example is an excellent example of why people tend to think that, the, that trading the e-mini market, or trading in general, is easy. Now taking it toward the end of the day, at 2.30, we can see the day's prices have been established. And at 2.30, corresponding to an overbought stochastic where market tops had been established at about 39.52, this would have been this would have been a point at 2:30 to take a, a short position. The risk of market going away from us is only about three points, so it would have been a fairly safe trade, a prudent trade to get on to the downside, and we could have picked up 10 points from 2:30 to about three o'clock. For people who know how to read charts, it could have been a very profitable day, 25 points in the morning, another 10 points in the afternoon. It's $5 per point on the micro e-mini market, $50 per point on the e-mini market. Those are considerable, considerable profits if you, if you had the experience to exercise patience and the knowledge of how to read the market. I want to back up a little bit here. The best high probability were, was over here with this, with this strong push to the upside corresponding to an oversold stochastic. And over here at 2.30 with a trend to the, that would correspond to the overbought stochastic but also con with a confirmation of a top having been established giving us an experience of where prices were previously throughout the day. So March 11th could have been a very profitable day for market players who are in the know. Now I'm going to compare that to the previous day, March 10th, and look what happens there. Look at the difference on March 10th. Here is the market on March 10th, just one day before. And look at the difference, just a glance at the chart tells you. Starting out at 9.30, there's choppy price action with uh, momentum trades to the up and down, swinging up and down. Corresponding at 10 o'clock, corresponding to an overbought stochastic, we see prices starting to erode with uh, lower highs and lower lows. And this would have been a relatively high probability trade, although here at, uh, at 10.15, there was a, 
a reversal. Actually, at, at, uh, just at 10.12, just before that, the market reversed. We see the shadow, the long shadow. So it, although it was a high probability entry, might not have been, it might have shaken you off too soon because this trade, if held to the stochastics being oversold, this trade would have earned, let's see, this is a three minute chart and this particular chart is four points between each horizontal line. So we have one, two, three, four, five, almost 20 points that could have been gained by observing, waiting for the stochastics to get to an overbought level, observing price at prices trending down, or at least not exceeding the, the high set at 940. And this 20 point pickup would have been an excellent return. Look at the rest of the day. Look how choppy these prices are. This is not a market to trade. This is a dangerous market to trade. This is a market that loses money for most traders because unlike the, unlike the March 11th price action, there is no clear trend on this chart for any particular length in time. After 10.30, there was a high degree of market chop. Dangerous market to trade. So trading on March 10th, the play was in the early morning at around 10 o'clock to the downside, and that's it. And if you traded this market, there's a good chance you lost money. I just wanted to give you an example of two days, two back-to-back -back days that exemplify why the market can be so profitable and attractive and so dangerous on the other hand. So, this is Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar, and if you're looking for a conservative way to trade and a method of how to read the charts and what the prices are telling you, Check out my site, TimelessDollar.com, and enroll in my course, Trading Mastery for Financial Freedom. You'll be glad you did. It'll save you a lot of grief. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar, and I'll see you on my next video.